Comparison operators. Comparison operators perform Boolean operations. It compares values and returns either true or false. Here we have a table of our comparison operators. The first one is, is equal to, then is not equal to, is greater than, is less than, is greater than or equal to, is less than or equal to. And here are the sample usage inside Java. So here in Java, we're going to try all the comparison operators. What you have to remember is that comparison only works with numeric values. So we cannot compare strings, we cannot compare characters. We are only going to use this on numeric values. First, let's declare a couple of variables. Int num1, I'm going to give it a value of 5. Int num2, I'm going to give it a value of 2. Let's write a print line statement system.out.println and then we're going to do the comparison directly inside the print line method. So we're going to say is num1 equal to num2? Okay. Since num1 and num2 are not equal, we are expecting false in our output. So let's build and run. It's going to say false. Suppose we change num2 to 5 and run it again, it's going to say true. Okay. So this time, instead of doing the comparison directly in the print line method, I'm going to put it on its own variable. Remember, comparison operators produce Boolean values. We need a Boolean variable to store the operation. So I'm going to say Boolean result. And here I'm going to do the comparison. And now we're going to print the variable called result. Again, comparison operators produce Boolean values. So we need a Boolean variable to store the result of this operation. So if you change this to int, it's going to give us an error. If you change this to double, we will get an error. String will give us an error. So this should be a Boolean variable. To make it easier to test our program, let's incorporate keyboard inputs. So right up top, after the package definition, I'm going to say import java.util.scanner. And then we're going to instantiate scanner. So we say scanner. And then we'll give our object a name. Let's call this one sc equals new and then the scanner method. We supply system.in in the scanner method, semicolon. Now let's use our object sc. For num1, we're going to say equals sc dot next int. Okay. Same thing for num2. So the values of num1 and num2 are going to be coming from the user input. System.out.print, double quotes, and then our message. Enter. First number. I'm going to copy and paste this statement and paste it before the next input. So we say second number. Okay, so now if we build and run, it's going to say enter first number, let's enter six, let's enter the second number, let's say three. Since our operation is the is equal to operation, this should return false. Okay, if I run it again and say 300 and another 300, it's going to say true. Okay, so let's try the next comparison. Not equal to, so we simply change our symbol. Exclamation mark equals. 
exclamation point equals. So if we build and run, it's going to say true if num1 and num2 are not equal. So if I type in 2 and another 2, this should say false. But if we put a different value for each input, it's going to say true. Let's try the greater than comparison. We simply change symbol to the greater than symbol. We'll build and run. So let's enter five and then two. So they should give us true. Let's enter three and six. This will give us false. Now, if we enter the same value, 9 and then another 9, this will still return false because 9 is not greater than itself. Let's try the next one. Is less than. So we simply change our symbol to the less than symbol. We build and run and enter our values. Let's enter 12 and then 11. This will give us false because 12 is greater than 11. Now, if I enter the same value, 50 and another 50, it's going to return false because 50 is not less than itself. Now, let's try uh, greater than or equal to. So we simply change our symbol. We just add the equal symbol and change this to greater than. So now this is is num1 greater than or equal to num2. Let's build and run. Let's enter 5 and 2. It's going to say true if I enter 2 and 5. It's going to say false. Now if I enter the same value, 5 and another 5, this will return true. Although num1 is not greater than num2, they are equal. Therefore, it's going to return true. Let's try the opposite of this. Less than or equal to. Let's build and run. First number, 2. Second number is 5. It's going to say true because 2 is less than 5. 6, 3 will give us false because 6 is greater than 3. Now if we enter 4 and another 4, it's going to return true because although num1 is not less than num2, they are equal. This is all for comparison operators. Thank you and I'll see you on the next lesson.